All right, so to simplify this problem, first of all, let's think about what one, let's think about what this power means. And really what we're thinking about is, strangely, you're looking at rule number two and you're kind of breaking this up. You can break this up into negative 125 to the one third, all squared. That makes sense? Mm. So you got to do them one at a time, okay. unless you have a calculator, but you, we want to do this without a calculator. So what's negative 125 to the one third power? Negative 125 What times itself three times equals negative 125? Negative five. Because positive oh, yeah. 5 to the 3rd is 125, so negative 5 to the 3rd is negative 125, and so it's that squared, and what's negative 5 squared? 25, so there's your answer. You could have done it a different way, but that's the easiest way to do it without a calculator. You could have also, instead of doing it that way, you could have done it like this. Negative 125 squared to the 1 3rd power. But that's really big. That's a big number to do without a calculator. Yeah. Right? We're trying to do this without a calculator. So the better way to, would be to break it into the one third power first, because it's simpler to do. And then, and then square, square it. Square it. Square it.